Hey there my fellow intellectuals, how are you doing tonight? Kyle here with another video, and tonight what I wanted to talk to you guys about is the importance of doing research as an undergraduate physics major. Now this video is for those of you who are majoring in physics or are thinking about majoring in physics as an undergraduate, you've not done research before, and you're thinking about becoming a university professor one day in physics. In my mind, the most important aspect of doing research as an undergraduate and the topic of how you actually get a research opportunity as an undergraduate is going to be the topic of another video. But again, the, the reason why you should do it, in my mind, is to see whether or not you actually like doing it. Now that sounds very silly, but it's actually a very important question. When I was an undergraduate in physics my first year, I saw people like Sean Carroll, Michio Kaku, Brian Green, Brian Cox, all these science communicators in physics who were also physics professors, and I thought that's who I wanted to be. But I didn't really know what it took to become that kind of individual. And research is what it takes to become that kind of individual. Research in undergrad, research in graduate school, research as a postdoctoral scholar, research as an actual physics professor. It's just always going to be there if you want to become a university professor in physics, and I had none at the time. When I finally got my first research experience in between my sophomore and my junior year, I realized how different it is to learning physics in a classroom. Like, when you're learning electromagnetism, for example, and you're learning about Maxwell's equations, and you're learning about how to use Gauss's law or something to find the enclosed charge in a region, this is a very toy cooked up problem in these textbooks that have a definitive analytic solution for you to to drive at the end. These are not the kinds of problems you're going to be facing in research. In research, there is no current answer to the problem you're trying to solve. That's why you're there to try and solve it. And research is a process where you will get stuck, you will have questions, you will get lost, and you will have to find yourself, and you'll have these breakthroughs along the way. But it's a very, very challenging process, and it's important for you to find out whether or not you actually like doing that process every day, for the most part. And if that answer is no, which is totally okay, it just means that you need to you know, reconsider your options as to you know, what you want to do as a career. There are actually a lot of nice careers that you can transition to from a physics degree, which itself needs to be its own video because it is quite a list. But... Again, the importance of all this is just to see whether or not research is of a thing that you like to do. Because if it is, then great, that's an indicator that perhaps maybe you should try and become a university physics professor one day. And if it's not, then you just need to, you know, take a step back and find out what you do like and, you know, try and focus your time and energy towards that instead. And so I know this video is kind of short, but that's essentially the 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 point of it, right? That's You're just trying to figure out whether or not you like it or not. And uh, let me know in the comments section below if you want to know about my first research experience. I can tell you how that went. And I hope you guys found this useful. I hope it um, shed some light into one of the more important aspects of the job, but probably one of the less thought about and, and less discussed parts of the job, whether or not you actually like doing the main part of it. So again, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're celebrating Thanksgiving here in the United States. And I will talk to you guys in the future. Have a good one, everyone.